I'm really excited about some of this physics I'm writing because it's giving that uh, owner's manual to unification type of thing. You know, <laughs> it's like we got here, but we forgot the manual on the way down. So, yeah. you know, that's what Bucky always said. <laughs> yeah. So the owner's manual is useful, you know, when operating the universe as we are. Seaspiracy on uh, Netflix. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's about the state of the oceans, how tied is our existence to the state of the ocean. And, you know, the short term uh, gain that's going on that is uh, definitely affecting the sustaina sustainability of the ocean. And, um, and, uh, and uh, as a result of the whole planet, which definitely to the survivals of mammal on the planet, yeah. on dry land, you know? Um, yeah. And so realize that things are connected in ways that are not so obvious. So, you know, one of the things I'm doing right now is writing equations about collective behaviors, and it's so fun. I'll give you an example. Like if you put a bunch of, and people can look at videos of this on, um, on YouTube, if, if I think if they search metronome, synchronized metronome, it'll, it'll come up. Uh, and um, so you can think of like a, a, a hundred metronome that you start at different times in random ways. And if they're on a table, uh, they're going to stay random, uh, assuming that they keep, you know, a constant velocity. And um, they're going to not synchronize unless you put them on a table that's able to move. So if you, if you yeah. put the 100 metronomes on something on wheels, or something that's suspended from the ceiling, like a big table that's suspended by the ceiling, and so it can move, then that couples to the movement of the metronomes that are going on on the table. And eventually, fairly rapidly, they all synchronize and they all start ticking together, no matter how random you start them, they're all going to synchronize and they're all going to produce a collective behavior, right? That, um, that has a larger energetic effect that's coupled to that table. So now you introduce the concept of coupling, right? So there's a coupling in this case, you could think of a coupling in momentum right that's energetic yeah. transfer of the metronome to the table that's able to move and then the table back to the metronome that makes it synchronized all together right for a maximum amount of energy and so this is where if they were random then the energy cancels out in all kinds of ways and you know the table wouldn't be moving there is as well like examples of this as well in in terms of and, and these are physical theories that have been written by other scientists that that i'm utilizing in in the physics i'm writing the coupling of for instance uh, fireflies right so fireflies all blink well mm. yeah uh, you would think they would blink in a random fashion. You know, they, you know that their blinking would be at all kinds of time because it's, um, you know, biochemical uh, photonic, photonic emission that's occurring in one bug. And there's no reason that it would be correlated to any other bug. Well, it's been found that if the bugs are close enough together, they start blinking together. And so... You got to wonder what's making them synchronize. You don't need all of them to synchronize, to know when each one's going to light up. You just need 
two adjacent one to sync, huh. right? Huh. Uh, to couple, and then the collective behavior of all that makes it all sync. So the idea is that you get, uh, this could be thought of it as a time coupling, for instance. So, you know, Mm. You can mm -hmm. think of momentum coupling, time coupling. You can think of, uh, you know, electromagnetic coupling. And this is some of the physics we're writing right now, uh, which describe mm. the electromagnetic coupling of scales. So think of the metronomes again. So it, it's, wow. you know, you can think of the individual behavior coupled to the table right which is the larger scale that is coupling to right and mm -hmm. um and then when the energy of the table goes back into the metronome right that's the coupling down scale right mm -hmm. so then you can think of the coupling relationships of the scales um wow. in terms of individual behaviors like a Planck plasma, for instance, of all the little Planck's oscillators, and then their collective behavior, right, which is the coupling to the larger scale. So like how they all spinning in the same system that we call a proton, and then that again and again and again. And when you, so for the electron and so on. And, and when you do that, you get really fundamental equations for quantum mm. theory and relativity um, present just in the rendering of these equations for only the proton and the electron. That is, you, you output all the classical physics and quantum mechanics from the uh, just a the coupling relationship of a proton to an electron not just in terms of their electromagnetic coupling i mean that in terms of their gravitational coupling their mass coupling and so on and so it's not just one force express it's all the forces like the strong force the weak force everything is expressed all coupling in this yeah. coupling of, you know, electromagnetic information transfer that's occurring between two systems, um, you know, in a, and, and which result in the universal coupling of all systems, right? Meaning that yeah. there is, that's the two fireflies, you know, you can start right. with, right? Yeah. And then you output the scales and then you just scale and mm. you get the right answers, for instance, for the size of the universe, its temperature, its mass, you know, all this stuff comes out. Wow. Um, wow. Or you get the right answer for protons, electrons, muons, you know, all baryons, you know, and, and their charge and their electromagnetic field and their angular momentum and all this stuff so and temperature mm -hmm. stars galaxies so now you have something where you on this you are writing the physics for the local observation of what you're experiencing however those physics are scaled to what is non-local to you because the physics stays the same the mechanics just scales so you have local and non-local physics so you eliminate the problem of it's Marx um, uh, principle but basically the frame of reference um, is the closed system you're observing in the context of the larger system. So it's mm. coupled, right? Mm -hmm. you, the metronome and the table, and then yeah. the table that that table is on and the table that mm -hmm. that table is on. So, so you can imagine that 
you know, a small set of metronomes could move a very large table, right? It's the principles of a resonance. Yes. Tesla was really fascinated with this. He almost destroyed the whole building mm -hmm. by just resonating yeah. one of its eye beams with a little tap, you know, at the right frequency. <laughs> um, so the coupling of these scales are very, uh, uh, like you can think of it as like um, the exchange between these scales in terms of their angular momentum or their energy or their time or whatever do you want to consider when you consider those things the result as well is that you get all these fundamental constant so for instance you 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 find the Rydberg constant at the atomic level you find the gravitational constant at the gra at the classical level you find you know uh the heisenberg uncertainty principle and and Schrodinger's equation on the quantum level and you find the klein gordon equations and, you know and so basically you can see that like all the things that are known in physics are you know are unified and you can find this unification all the way down to you know uh, special relativity, general relativity. So that means you can describe the energetics of the system very precisely, mm -hmm. right? For instance, At with special scale. relativity, this definition of special uh, relativity com completes special relativity so that now it has a deeper physical meaning um, and the reason is, is because now there's mechanics attached to the concept of mass or the energy that we call mass. Uh, that is, it's not in this some, uh, an assumed quantity all of a sudden in these equations. It's something that is coming from a very specific mechanical function. Um, and that function outputs quantum mechanical equations. So it unifies, you know, relativity unifies. with quantum mechanics in a very fundamental way. It's extraordinary to witness it. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's hard to describe how uh, deeply it's affecting my awareness. Um, I can understand. I, I can feel it as you describe it because it's it's there's a simplicity within that function or that model that you just described that you could see just fractally permeates all scales and that that simplicity is what is unifying it and it, it sounds to me the sim like like when you describe the metronomes and if they're on a, a, a rigid table they don't sync up but when the table is able to move it sounds to me like that's the feedback feed forward mechanism that is providing the relationship that allows for the synchronization and resonance to occur exactly. um, without that feedback you know without it being possible to provide that feedback it doesn't happen so this that's is right. obviously occurring at all scales this relationship of of interaction that is moving everything simultaneously you could say well yeah and, and it's that the feedback here is a very physical one meaning you can uh, yeah. you, you can assign very fundamental you know very straightforward mechanical equation for instance to transfer of momentum or or energy or you know ele electromagnetic coupling mm -hmm. or you know it, it's it's very sure. so many it's very physical so it's not like some concept of feedback in you know when when we're talking about information feedback you know it's not mm -hmm. just it's not like a philosophical thought um although it is right. that yeah, too right. it, it it has very physical <laughs> yeah. meaning you know um meaning the transfer yes. of energy is yeah. done 
in a very physical way, right? In this case is uh, spin, spin, you know, networks, right? Angular momentum right. and time relationship. Yeah. Right? Time comes- it Reminds with, me of a- As a frequency, right? So if it has a frequency yeah, cycling. Yeah. per second, right? It, time, yeah. right? Yeah, we have time. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. not time in an esoteric way, neither. You know, I'm talking about like physical time. Yeah. Well, physical, physical functional. That time. an angular momentum is 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 giving a tick. You know, 